Critical Mass is a leaderless ride and protest that takes place all over the world. I'm new to Critical Mass and don't know the history as well as some, but I know this movement, particularly here in Winnipeg, has deep roots in decarcerality and abolition movements. That history continues with this particular Critical Mass in partnership with Winnipeg Police Cause Harm to protest the racist World Police and Fire Games, which our governments wasted over $9 million subsidizing. The city even provided free transit fare for the thousands of cops coming here while continuing to require our most impoverished community members to pay fare. Meanwhile, Winnipeg is experiencing crises in drug supply and addiction, homelessness, healthcare, gender-based violence, and funding of basic public services like libraries. Our main library branch downtown isn't even open on Sunday anymore. And the city and province have for months refused to search the landfill for the bodies of First Nations women Mercedes Myron, Morgan Harris, Rebecca Contois, and Buffalo Woman, who were murdered as far too many indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit folks across Turtle Island are. Landfill searches for white folks have faced far less resistance from authorities. To me, the vibe of critical mass at its core is people on bicycles getting together and taking up space on our streets. We aren't blocking traffic, we are traffic. But cycling is so marginalized that this in itself is a radical act that can make us the target of violence. But aside from being a powerful act of solidarity, these rides can still be very chill and fun, and I encourage everyone to show up to your local critical mass, or any community ride. Just showing up is huge, and we need everyone we can get to impress upon policymakers that we won't be marginalized any longer. That cycling is the way of the future, and driving is the way of the past and that we won't accept any more police violence or stolen sisters.